Hello everyone, John here from Vulgar Kitten Studios, and uh, now we are going to actually get into a little bit more fun stuff. We're going to go ahead and create the main menu using the new UI system from Unity. So we do have that added bonus of using the uh, beta 4.6. Uh, if you don't have that already, I uh, highly recommend getting it because uh, using on GUI is just so obsolete now, it's not even funny. Uh, so that's uh, <laughs> that's my little two cents, and we'll just go ahead and get started. So we need to make sure that we're in the main menu, and okay. So uh, we don't want to save. Yep. All right. So we're good. And now I'm actually going to go into 2D mode uh, just to make this a little easier. And I'm going to right-click in the hierarchy and go into the UI section and create a canvas. And in this canvas we're actually going to leave it as screen overlay just because uh, uh, we only want to use UI clickable elements and we always want that to be on the camera so uh, we're not going to change the screen space from overlay we're just going to go ahead and leave it that way uh, and besides like I said this isn't really going to be too terribly um, intuitive anyway it's just meant to be placeholders to prove the concept uh, so we'll call this uh, We'll call this canvas menu uh, just for the sake and purposes of doing that. Uh, matter of fact, let's just, let's just call it let's call it character character creator. If I could spell creator right, geez, that was awful. Uh, okay, so character creator, and we're actually going to go ahead and attach the character creator script to this and allow that to double as the character creator manager object. And I'm actually going to right click on here and I'm going to go into UI and I'm going to create a button. And this button, I'm just going to move it up here somewhere, try to get it uh, kind of sensible. So I uh, put it right there and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to rename this to Cube. And I'm going to go into the uh, drill down into the hierarchy of that button and go into the text and change the text to Cube. And this will be the button that you click to instantiate the cube object, uh, just so you, if you didn't know. Uh, now I'm actually going to uh, control D to duplicate that, change this to capsule, and change the text to capsule. And I just want to move that down just a little, give it a little padding there. And I will now duplicate that and call this one uh, cylinder and just the same sort of thing change this to cylinder like that alright and try to get it about the same padding right there and now I'll create the color buttons as well actually probably bring this up just a little bit more and I'm going to duplicate the cube button and I'm gonna bring this all the way over here and try to get it to snap with the same alignment as our cube button on the left and try to give it about the same padding and I'm gonna change this to red and change the text to red and now I'll duplicate it just drag this guy down keeping it aligned and you can see when these uh, these blue lines pop up on the buttons you know when you're actually aligned and that's just a really nice snapping feature of the new UI system so uh, now that we have that and I'll call this button yellow and change the text to yellow and I'll duplicate this and call this blue and change the text to blue. Now all we need to do is just position it. There we go, so it's about aligned. And now I'm gonna actually go ahead and just duplicate this button too and I'm gonna move it over here try to get it aligned uh, with my other buttons. And this one I'm going to call save character and if you can't guess what I'm gonna name the text, then you haven't been paying attention. 
All right, so we'll duplicate this and just drag this over, trying to keep it aligned and just get it aligned with both the button to the left and the row of buttons on the top. Uh, so there we go, and we'll just call this play game. And go ahead and change this to play game. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and control S to save that scene. And now I'll go into the game and just kind of do the same thing. I'll go into UI and I'll create a canvas in here. And we don't need to rename this or anything. I'm just going to create a button real quick and position it over here. And just call it save location save location and there we go so we'll just go ahead and control s to save that and that is all of the UI elements that we're going to be using probably last thing we can do we can come back into the main menu and just uh, create our uh, anchor to hold our uh, character object so I'm going to create an empty object and I'm going to parent that to the main camera and click this little gear and reset it and make sure I have it selected in the hierarchy get out of 2D mode and click F uh, excuse me. sorry I had to pause the video so I could cough alright uh, so anyway make sure that we're in perspective mode and I actually want to make sure I'm focused on the camera just so I can see what's kinda of going on here and I'll get out of perspective mode and go into ISO so I can be uh, just facing an isometric angle and I'll click this object and just drag it over a bit probably put it out at about a 4 4 seems, well maybe yeah a 4, 4 seems good and uh, drop this down probably about aligned with that that line right there so maybe a negative 1 alright and so I'm actually going to just create a 3D object uh, cube and drag it onto that object. I'll rename this to character character anchor maybe character anchor and I actually want to reset this guy and lastly I'm going to create a light directional light so I'll rename that to lighting and just reset its position and change the rotation to about 30 and okay and now I'll go into my game view and that looks about right for the positioning of our character so I'm just gonna leave it like that just get rid of the cube uh, so that way we don't have it sitting there by default and just save one more time and uh, probably yeah I'll just go into the game and create that same light so I'm gonna go into light and directional light rename that to lighting and I will go ahead and reset that guy change them to 30 degrees rotation on the x-axis and matter of fact uh, this was a really short video so I'll just go ahead and create the game scene as well so I'll go into my objects and create a 3d object call it a cube and reset the position and rotation and set the scale to 100 on the X or actually that's really huge let me set that to 50 and 0.5 on the Y and 50 on the Z just make a nice square plane here and I will go into my materials and drag on my green material and uh, we're only doing this just so that we can uh, kinda see have a point of reference of what we're doing when we're running around and saving our location uh, so let me just go ahead and go back into the side view and I'm going to create a 3D object cube and just make sure that that is on the platform and okay and I will put the red material on that guy and I'll change his name to red and this other cube I'll change to floor and I'll probably actually just I'll create another game object and call this environment and drag these guys onto there there we go and so I'll take the red guy and just use the scale tool and scale it up until it touches the floor there just kinda of make a column out of it there we go now I'll go into the top view 
and scroll out so I can see. Go back to my handles and just position this guy somewhere over here. I'll duplicate him and bring him up this way and change his name to yellow and change the material to yellow as well. And so I'll just duplicate that one more time, bring it over here and change the name to blue and change the material to blue. And lastly I'll just go back into the side view and I'll create one more empty game object and try to get that aligned. Uh, probably 0.5 on the X and let me just try to get this aligned in the center here. This is best as I can and this is actually going to uh, act as the spawn point for our player. So I'll take this guy and rename him uh, player spawn and mm, I don't really know if we'll need a tag uh, but I will tag it respawn and I'll use the spawn player script and just tack that on like that. So I'll go ahead and control S and there we go. So uh, we got a little bit more than I actually originally wanted to in this video uh, but that does it. Uh, I will see you in the next video when we actually start coding our uh, data manager. And uh, see you then. Thank you for watching.